Good morning, boys and girls. I'm going to show you how to put chipboard together with some tape. Super simple, and it will be useful for many of your builds. So first of all, I have the chipboard that I need. It's all measured out and cut. I'm going to make a simple box that can be used um, to on your car or whatever project you're making. Um, you, often you might have to do a box like this. Now chipboard, when you put the boards together, you have to leave a tiniest little space in between. And the reason being is because when we fold that up, it has to have space to fold up. So one way you could do this is just put it right next to the two pieces next to each other and then kind of lift it up. That's about how wide, just about that, the space of the board. That's how wide of a space you need. So let's just put it right like that. I'm going to put all sides the correct distance from each other and lined up on the corners. That's super important too. And then just put some tape on it. Make sure your tape is shorter than the chipboard that you're taping it to. And I like to cut, cut off a bunch of pieces and just have them ready. And they look a little bit cleaner when they have uh, nice straight edges. So just put your tape down. And if it moves on you a little bit, just kind of pull it together before you push down the tape. There we go. Let's put it down. There we go. This didn't move. Great. And again, if it does move on you, just kind of push it back together before you actually push it down. You just kind of scoot it up a little bit if you need to before you press. And our last piece right here. And I might even just start like that and then push up like that. There we go. So that's one way to start. So I have the, the pretty much a base in the walls for a box. And when I put those together, it makes a nice box. So now you need to use your tape to tape the sides. So probably need a little bit smaller piece. Again, you don't want any wider than the, the length of that. This is way too long, so I'm going to cut this in half. I like to store my tape just on the edge of the desk it, until I need it. It helps me put things together easier, faster. So bring that together. Just put it on one side. Match those corners up and around the other. And notice I have my finger holding pressure there so it doesn't slip on me. There you go. Do the next side. And your measurement's really important because if your measurement's off, then the, the corners up here aren't going to line up. There we go. Push it over. Pressure on the inside. I'm going to cut one more piece. And just about that length is good. It's probably a little too long. So you do that in half. And our last corner. Bring these together. There we go. And here we go. Now I have a nice box that and the tape is all cut smooth so it looks nice. And I can use this for making a regular box and kind of putting a lid on it. Or if you have your measurements right, you can use it to go on top of a car to hold a load or even become a perch. If you want to do something like this with a car, like maybe take an extra piece and just tape that together like that. And then you would have a like the side of a body of a race car, which would look pretty cool. Anyway, so that's that. And hopefully that made it easier for you.